of all of the air dry products I've tried, this is the one I keep coming back to. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Becca, I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I make accessible hair and beauty content for everyday life. If you're coming back, thank you so much and welcome to those of you who are new. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the bell so you're notified every time I post new videos. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you wanna skip right to each product I'm recommending in today's video, make sure to check out the chapter markers down in the description. Make sure to stay until the end because I will share a secret on how to afford these products if you are on a budget. A while back, I posted a poll on my YouTube community page asking you guys how you normally like to style your hair. A lot of people answered that they like to air dry their hair. <laughs> that came as a shock, but if I'm being honest, 90% of the time I air dry my hair and 10% of the time I'll style with a hot tool. My style today is utilizing the products that I'm recommending today for air drying. It makes sense that you would wanna know about good air dry products. I spent a lot of money at Sephora buying lots of different popular air dry products and I'll be reviewing those in future videos, so make sure to subscribe. <laughs> but for now, I wanted to at least give you three essential products that you can use today. Before we jump into the products, I wanna explain how to tell if an air dry product is right for you. I also wanna let you know how where you live can affect your hair's reaction to an air dry product. Air dry products are great for someone with wavy to curly hair. You might have an on the go lifestyle or you don't have a lot of time to spend doing your hair. You wanna make an effort and look more presentable but don't have the capacity to go crazy. Hello, that's me. <laughs> you need to have at least a little texture in your hair for an air dry product to work. If you have no wave whatsoever, you're not gonna wanna buy this product. If your hair is pin straight, this video isn't for you, sorry. <laughs> but don't worry, I've got a product review coming that I think you'll really like, so make sure to subscribe. Also, if your hair is super curly, <laughs> I'm talking like super, super curly, like really, really ringlet curls. If you want an air dry product, my recommendation would be using a curl cream or gel because the air dry products I'm talking about today, they won't have enough hold in them to tame the frizz and the structure that's needed for a stronger curl pattern. So what we're talking about today is people right in the middle. This like community right here, right in the middle. And I fall into that community. If you're someone like me that has a decent amount of natural wave to their hair and you live in a humid climate like Florida, which is where I'm from, shout out to the 941. <laughs> My hair responds very differently in higher humidity than somewhere that doesn't have a lot of humidity. This can actually have an effect on how well a product works in your hair. That's why in the wintertime, my hair isn't as curly because there's little to no humidity and I rarely wear my hair in its natural curl in the winter because of that reason. <laughs> if you're not sure if your area has a lot of humidity, you can actually check on your iPhone. I actually wanna check on my iPhone. Just to give you an idea, I feel like my hair is like growing <laughs> as the day goes on. Let's 86% humidity, that's a lot. Write in the comments below, what is the percent of humidity where you're at today? What I look for in an air dry product is something that enhances my natural texture without weighing it down. Ooh, look how light and fluffy this is. <laughs> it doesn't have heavy hydration, it manages my frizz to a certain extent, and gives me a small amount of hold. I want it to still be my natural hair texture but a little bit more defined. And I also like to add just a little bit of volume if I can get all of that in one product. I also wanna be able to have it in my hair for a few days and not feel like I have like a leave-in conditioner or that my hair feels heavy or I need to wash it because it's got too much product in it. I like it to be light and soft, but effective. Is that too much to ask? No, because the product I recommend you today does all that. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, you've made it to my three go-to air dry products on my shelf this summer. All the products I'm recommending are in the order that you would apply them to your hair after you get out of the shower. Leave a like if your hair is air dried right now, like mine. <laughs> 
Product number one is Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer Spray. A primer is the product you use right after you get out of the shower. It is the base product for all other products to live on. And I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorite products ever. I've used it consistently for a decade. <laughs> I've even had a hard time trying other primers because of how many benefits come with this one product. Hairdresser's Invisible Oil literally does it all. It conditions, detangles, prevents breakage, <laughs> adds shine, manages frizz, has UV protection for those of you with color treated hair, and it is a heat protectant for when you want to style or restyle on the second day with a hot tool. This product is for people with medium to thick hair. For your reference, I have medium to low density hair and this product is not too heavy for me. You're not gonna wanna spray it at your root, just your mid lengths and ends. And I would say less is more. Like I said before, you apply this product first thing after the shower, spray a few sprays throughout your hair and then comb it through. Don't waste the product by getting spray crazy. And if you are someone that has low density hair, you could always use this very sparingly on your ends. Again, don't go spray crazy because you could use too much and it could leave your hair feeling weighed down. It's also very concentrated. So this one is $29 for the bottle but it lasts me anywhere from six months to a year. This is also a product that you could use if you're not air drying your hair, because if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner slash sheet protectant, you could always use this. I literally recommend this product to everyone. The second product on my list that I'm recommending today is the Whey Air Dry Foam. 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 I bought a ton of Whey products a while ago and I'll be releasing a review video soon, so make sure to subscribe so you know when that video comes out. But I honestly didn't have a lot of hopes for this product. That's because the only experience I really have with products like this are volume mousses. They tend to have a stronger hold and I usually have to use a blow dryer. That's how you use a mousse. So when I tried this foam for the first time, I really wasn't expecting anything because it's an air dry product. You don't use a blow dryer. But of all of the air dry products I've tried, this is the one I keep coming back to. <laughs> this product is $28 and I bought it at Sephora. As with all of the products in this video, I always leave links in the description below. I think what I like most about this product is the volume that it gives me at the root. It's literally insane. I didn't diffuse this at all. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's like an upside down blow dry volume. Like I can get like 80s hair when I blow dry my hair upside down, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Normally I don't get any good volume from just air drying with other products I've tried. And maybe it's the foam. <laughs> There's literally zero crunch. I also feel like it gives enough hold and enough definition without overdoing it. I can trust it to do what it's gonna do, but I don't get annoyed with it on the second and third days. And that's why I'm recommending it to you. <laughs> Cause I love it. And I think you will too. The last product I'm recommending today is once again, Bumble and Bumble. It's the Curl Reactivator Spray. You only use this one to refresh on second and third day air dry styles, especially if you tend to have a little bit stronger of a curl pattern like me. <laughs> I'm not wearing this in my hair today because I just did this style fresh, but I will show you how to spray this in your hair on your second and third day. This has been one of my favorite products for over 10 years. <laughs> just like the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> this is a product that I have always, always loved. And I've tried to find a cheaper dupe at the drugstore and I can't. I've tried this Garnier Fructis Recurl Spray and other than smelling good, <laughs> it does not compare at all. And I think one of the reasons why I absolutely love this product is because it reminds me a lot of my sprunch days when I used to use Aussie. Anyone else, if you've used Aussie, what was it called? Aussie sprunch spray in like middle school, leave a comment. I know you're out there. I know I'm not the only one. Anyways, I've tried other ones. I can't remember what they are, but I always come back 
to this product. And I am probably not the only one because it's usually sold out in stores. <laughs> the reactivator spray is $29 and I actually made a TikTok video showing you how to use this product in real life. Make sure to follow me on TikTok because I'm always posting real life applications of these products. Use this product on second and third day styles. Spray it on your mid lengths and ends then just scrunch it into your hair and let it dry naturally. <laughs> this does have the tiniest bit of hold, but I think the biggest benefit is refreshing your natural waves <laughs> because after you sleep on your hair, it's all flat and weird. This curl reactivator spray literally brings your hair back to life, like gives it a whole new meaning. <laughs> so poetic, <laughs> so deep. So deep. Okay. If you don't have as defined curls, you could always try Purology's Beach Wave Sugar Spray. It won't weigh your hair down as much as this because it has a little bit less hydration. Okay, time for my secret. How can you afford these products if you're on a budget? Here are a couple ideas. First, buy the products from the brand's website. Usually if you give your email, you can get 10 to 15% off your first purchase. That's one way. Second way is to buy travel sizes and try it out. The Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer Spray and the curl reactivator are $14 for their travel sizes. And those travel sizes will actually last you a long time because of how concentrated their products are. Unfortunately, the way doesn't have a travel size, but altogether you could get these products for about $45. Not necessarily affordable for everyone, but an option. If your budget only allows you to get one of these products, I would get the Way Air Dry Foam. It should get you most of the way there. <laughs> see what I did there? The way? I hope that helps all y'all on a budget. I see you, I know it's tough out there. If you're finding my content helpful, please share it with a friend. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notified every time I post new videos. And if you like and subscribe, the YouTube algorithm will pick me up and hopefully share my videos with more people so I can keep making content for everybody. <laughs> so fun. You can watch another video right here or you can shop all of my favorite products in one place right here. Use this link. Thanks for being with me today, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.